Hi, I'm Mike from the Rusty Garage, <laughs> and I came here to uh, talk about chainsaws. Oh, that's your line. No, oh, you're you're you do it better than I do. All right, guys. Well, we tried with uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was like, okay. I'll tell you what, guys. I'm a huge fan of the Rusty Garage and Homestead. Feel pretty excited to have him here teaching me something about chainsaws today. Everyone, I'm here with my new friend Brock. Uh, since I built my 660 clone, I've been real curious to how it would hold up against a 500i. Just so happens, Brock's got a 500i, so we're gonna take the 660 and his 500i, run the same size bar and chains, and we're gonna just do a little time comparison to see how well this saw holds up being a budget, you know, sub $500 chainsaw. And this is an $1,800 chainsaw, and I've ran it a bunch against a bunch of other chainsaws, and it always seems to win. But I've got a feeling I'm gonna lose this one. Well, we'll see. Okay, we're gonna take Brock's 500i and give it a test cut through here, and then we'll see how it does and swap to the 660. Like 11 seconds. So that took 11 seconds to cut that one cookie off. We're gonna swap to the 660 and see what we got. Ho oh, ho! This might be a humdinger of a saw. Okay, both saws were really close on time on the smaller log, so we figured we would go ahead and put the 36 inch bar on both saws and cut a big log and see how they compete up. Okay guys, well, that cut took 45 seconds. I was leaning on it fairly decent, uh, which with the bigger saw, you should be able to. Brock's gonna make the same cut without leaning on it. We're gonna see how much of a difference it makes. Yep, my, my imagination is that I'm just gonna cut slower, but that's what I normally do, because I'm not in a big hurry. But that's the way to test it. <laughs> So the reason I went ahead and cut, we were just gonna cut once with this saw, is I wanted to see, do you cut faster on, by pushing down on it or by just letting it eat? I put almost no down pressure. He was pushing down and it was just, 
the same time, it didn't really matter. All right, guys, well, we tried to outperform Brock's uh, 500i. It was close. He still got me by a few seconds, but overall, is the few seconds worth the extra money? I don't know. Both saws, still, you're gonna be able to get parts for that thing for a long time, and it's gonna be a, a pretty reliable saw. This clone saw, I feel like it's gonna be reliable, but time will tell, so we'll see, but. I had a thought on it. You know, you're saving over $1,000 on this, and I would also say that you built this and it's pretty new and I felt like you were cutting really fast and maybe at the a, a middle halfway through you kind of bogged and lost a few seconds. But I feel like maybe long term, I don't know if that's a true result. But yeah. It's a nice saw and I think you should be proud of having the, the skill to build that. It was, it was fun to build. That was my first clone saw and it taught me a lot, a, a bunch about chainsaws. So I think most people could do it. Just takes a little time. There's plenty of videos online on YouTube on showing you how to put one together. Awesome. Well, I want to thank Brock for allowing me to come here today and play with all the stuff. But if you found any information helpful, go ahead and give the video a thumbs up. Consider subscribing to the channel and we'll see you in the next one. Thanks.